Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to blur face in CapCut PC. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so first thing we want to do is import the video that we want to blur the face in. So I clicked on the highlighted the video, click open. Then we're going to drag this video down to the timeline. And then we're going to either click control C or we're going to right click and scroll up to the top and click copy. And then we're either going to click above it, bring the cursor back and hit control V, which is paste, or we're going to right click above it and hit paste. Okay. So now we have an overlay and a background image. So first thing I'm going to do is hide. I'm going to click on the background image or the background um, clip. I'm going to hide the track. So now I'm going to click on the overlay. And what I'm going to do you'll be on the basic. So when you do this, you'll be on the basic. And then what you're going to want to do is go over to mask. So I click on mask and then you click on circle. Okay. And then you bring the circle so that it fits the face. And sometimes it's better if it's a little bit big so that it just covers everything. Uh, you want to make sure of that. And then you can scroll down here and you can click feather and just feather it up a bit. And it just creates this uh, kind of nice border here. Okay. So I'm going to just put it down to four or so. And then what I'm going to do is add a keyframe and I'm going to take the cursor and move it a little bit and my face tends to move. So I'm going to move this circle and try to get it in the center of my face as much as possible. And that way it will blur everything correctly. So that added, if you notice, once I moved, uh, the circle over to the center of my face it added a keyframe. So I'm going to move the cursor a bit further and then I'm going to move the circle and that's going to add a keyframe again. Okay. And then I'm going to move the cursor so that it's at its furthest point in that direction and then move the circle and it added another keyframe. And then my head moves, of course, again, I'm making things real difficult on myself with this video. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And then it added another keyframe. And then my head moved. And so does the circle. My head moves some more. And I'm going to move the circle. And then my head moves even more more but I think it's okay because the circle's kind of big there and then I'm going to move the circle over this way I'm going to just reduce it some people just want the face and that would just mean you have to make more uh, keyframes so the smaller the circle the more keyframes you're going to have to make so just take that into consideration uh, my head moves I move the circle, head moves a little more, I just want to get it furthest over to this position. I'm going to bring this, make it a little bigger. Oh, now my head's moving down, of course. Uh, I'm regretting how much I move my head because I'm having to put more and more keyframes and follow it. There we go. And I'm going down even further. So I move the circle. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. 
And then I'm going to drag the cursor a little further here, and I still go down even further. So I'm going to bring this down, and then it automatically populates the keyframe, as usual here. Now I'm going back up. Okay, and I drag the circle up, and I'm going further up, drag the circle up, I'll make this smaller again, and then even further up, there we go, we're almost done folks. And there, okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And then there, okay, so all the keyframes have been added. So one way you can test this out is just by playing the video from the start and making sure that it follows the face or the head. which it seems to do pretty well there, okay? So let's take the next step. So we put the mask, the mask is following the face. And now what we do is we go over to, I'm gonna drag the cursor back to the beginning here, okay? And then we're going to go to effects. We're going to type in blur, B-L-U-R and then hit enter. And then it's this one that you want to add, okay? And there's two things you can do. What you can do is you can drag it down and let's say you want it on, you can put it on top, okay? And you want it to start at the beginning and you also want it the same, um, you want it, the same length as the actual clip itself. And also for the blur effect, I don't want any of my face, facial features really sticking out. So I'm gonna blur it even more, okay? And then what you do is you have to merge the video clip and the blur together. And how you do that is you select both, okay? And then you right click and then then you click, it would either be Alt G or you just right click and click on create compound clip. So now there's a compound clip created and we're gonna play it. Covers the face the whole way. Uh, I'm going to show you another way of doing that. So I'm going to hit back. Okay. Right now it's got the, uh, them both selected. I'm going to hit back again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the blur. I'm going to drag the cursor to the front. And then the other option is to drag the blur effect right into the video and then it says plus in the middle so drag it right in the middle not on top but right in the middle of the overlay clip okay and then i'll press play and notice that effects blur is throughout the clip itself so i'm going to press play Okay, it's following it, but once again, my blur effect, I'm just gonna start it from the beginning and just put my blur effect uh, higher so that my features aren't as easy to see. And then I'm gonna click play again. Actually, I'm gonna pause it from here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhide the background. Okay, we're gonna put it on full screen and then we're gonna play. Let's see how this looks. Pretty good. 
okay? So if you want to be even more um, accurate with all this, what you could do is zoom in on your timeline and put more keyframes in your on your overlay here as you're as you're masking it, okay? But uh, I think this is plenty fine. If these tutorials help you out, uh, definitely subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.